If traveling has felt like a nightmare lately, you are not alone. From flight disruptions to staffing shortages, airlines have been delaying or canceling flights left and right. So what do you do if your flight is canceled or delayed? Before heading to the airport, be sure to check your flight status so you don't end up stuck at the airport unnecessarily long. If you're delayed or canceled, you're at least in the comfort of your home or hotel. It's a good idea to sign up for those airline text alerts when you buy your ticket and be sure to download the carrier's app. You can also check flight trends in the U.S. on FlightAware to stay up to date. But if you're at the airport already, the worst thing you can do is freak out. It's key to stay calm. If you're patient with an agent or someone on the phone, people are much more likely to work with you and get you what you want, especially after dealing with other irate customers. Once you hear word of a flight cancellation, head straight for the airline agent's desk. It's first come, first serve. You'll want to multitask as well. Call up the carrier while you're waiting in line. If you're in the back of the line, that might be faster. Consider calling the International Call Center. U.S. domestic travelers will be calling U.S. numbers, but most people don't think to call, say, the Canadian helpline. They can handle your reservation all the same. If you're not having any luck on the phone, look up new routes and find alternative suggestions. Coming prepared to offer your own options to the agent will help expedite things. If you're booked through Expedia or other third-party sites, you'll have to deal through them when there's a cancellation. Hindsight is 2020 here, but if prices are similar, it's generally a good idea to book directly with the airline to avoid more complications in situations like this. If you're stuck for the night, ask the airline to put you up in a hotel or give you a hotel voucher. They might do it, they might not. It's not required by law. Know the policies and what your rights are, and whatever you do, at least ask. They aren't necessarily going to just be offered. In general, if you want to just simply avoid situations like this, fly in the morning or during the week. It's a great way to avoid cancellations. Opt for longer layovers or go for direct flights. That $50 you save for a flight with a layover isn't cutting it. Pro tip, avoid checked baggage so you don't have to worry about that situation if you need to rebook. There you have it. That's what you need to do if your flight is canceled or delayed. It's never fun, but the key is to just stay calm.